Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show, where I bring you new providers, new technologies, and introduce you to the best professionals in the industry, all so you can make informed decisions. Today, I'd like to welcome back my friend Chris Kinney, the VP of Sales for Dynalink Communications, the sponsor of the Top Gun Show. Chris is a highly respected industry veteran, having spent 20 years as the VP of Sales for Dynalink. Dynalink is the only phone company you'll ever need. Chris, welcome back to the Top Gun Show. Hello there. How you doing? Good to see you again, man. I I have been getting blown up on my LinkedIn about the wonderful feedback of your past three interviews this month. Now, Dynalink is quickly becoming a household name, so to speak. So, before we wrap up the series, tell me a bit about how the event went last week in Los Angeles with Adrian Peterson. Oh, it was great. Uh, we had great showing for my presentation, which is kind of funny because most people really don't come to see me. They come to see for the talent. But we had a lot of folks listening to me present, which is shocking in its own right. Um, and based on the feedback, I had a lot of questions after my presentation. That always shows that people are paying attention. In fact, I try to make things fun. I even showed a picture of my dog, which people seem to enjoy more than my presentation. But the way we do these events is the whole idea is that we want to make it fun for our partners. We do a big buffet, unlimited drinks, um, and you get an autographed helmet. This one is for my son. So you see it's addressed to uh, my son, Jake, and it says, all day, Adrian Peterson, and that's his signature. And I don't know if anybody can read that, but I sure can. And then what's going to happen in about three to four weeks, everybody's going to get a 8 by 10 picture in a fancy dining link frame. So the whole idea that we like to do these events, and the reason why we did it at Top Golf is it's got to be fun. Because if it's not fun and I'm not having fun, then our guests don't have fun. So the way our COO and, and myself look at it is, is that you have to enjoy yourself because you'll project that to your clients and the clients will enjoy things like that. If you're not having fun, they're not having fun. So top golf, huge buffet, drinks, and a future Hall of Famer in Adrian Peterson. So it was a recipe for success. Well, congratulations, man. I mean, I as you know, I've been to countless events. And Top Golf, I've been to a lot of Top Golf, but nothing like what you put on. I mean, that is uh, that's really a first class event. Um, that's wonderful. That's what. Well, do you have any other events coming up that the viewers can make note of? Well, we're doing some private events for some of our partners, and we always offer to any one of our partners if they can get us thirty to forty attendees, we'll provide the talent, we'll provide the venue, and we'll pay for it all. Uh, the next big event where we'll be advertising would be Top Golf in Vegas next week. Next, excuse me, next week, next year at Channel Partners. We're not sure what we're bringing yet, but it looks like we might be having Eric Dickerson, who's an old favorite of ours. Well, can you can you squeeze me in on that one? I'll, I'll be in Vegas. I would love I would love to be a part of that, man. That sounds fun. Well, Top Golf is open to everybody, and and the beauty about doing these events is that instead of doing just a golf outing, which we love to do as well, our COO is a big fan of golf is that when you commit to a golf hat and you're there, you have to commit to four to five hours with top golf. We have folks showing up, hanging out for a little bit, listening to the presentation. Then they leave after a couple hours or they pop in just to get an autograph from one of our celebrities and maybe talk to me for a couple of minutes to learn more about Dynalink. So it's more of a, an informal event as opposed to some of these other events where they force you to be here for, well, you got to be here from six to eight. This is more come whenever you want, have some drinks, have some food, enjoy yourself. I love it. That's great, man. Well, hey, this month you've done a great job explaining what you sell at Dynalink to who you sell it to and where and why you're winning. So I'm going to give you this. What's the last word? What do you want the viewers to remember forever about Dynalink? Well, the best way to remember Dynalink is unique. It's We have a unique way to look at things, a unique way to do business. It's kind of old school. The way we look at it is our customer or our partner is always right. One thing that always bothered me is if there was a problem in my previous jobs, it was always, whose fault is it? Who did it? Why are they do it? Nobody wanted to fix it. They wanted to point the finger at somebody. We don't look at it that way here. We look at it and say, who's, when we have a problem, what do we got to do to fix it? Let's get it fixed. After it's fixed, then we can look back and say, okay, let's find out whose fault it was so it doesn't happen again. I don't want to spend time wasting time going, well, let's point fingers at things. And that's the way the telecom has become is a lot of times people spend too much time chasing the, the person who did it instead of the problem so you can prevent it. And then once we figure out what happens, then we can train our folks and say, don't do that again. Or if it wasn't their fault, say, how do we 
fix it faster. Customer service doesn't have to be, uh, you know, a support system that's very tough for people. We want people to enjoy our customer service. Everything happens. Things break. Everybody loves you when everything's working, but how do you handle things when things break? Are we going to be better? Our customer service, we don't have an auto attendant. It's actually answered by a real live person. No press one, no press two. You just pick up the phone and somebody's there. If you have a question and you need something, ask us, challenge our team. Hey guys, I have this weird solution. I got something that nobody can do. Can you do it? Of course we can, or we'll find a solution for it. And when we do, we find that those customers will stay with you longer because you help them. We found something that nobody else was able to do. Less, yes, we provide UCAS, SIP, data services, IoT, mobility, you know, cell phones, tablets. We we're an all for one solution for all of our customers. But we also give the customers, pick one. I don't want to do anything besides maybe the unlimited uh, program from Verizon or at and I just want that. That's great. We appreciate what you give us. And we want our folks to be happy as well. We keep our employees happy, which is why we have employee longevity. You don't have a lot of people moving back and forth. I've been with the company for 20 years. The person who's the first channel manager for us, he's been with us for 15. Our average employee has been with us between five to 10 years. The same two people that we started our mobility with, they're still with us. You take care of your folks, you take care of your customers, people will stay. The problem is, is that, Steve, these are not unique ideas. We're not do, break, doing anything different than most people try to do. We just are doing the right thing. And that's why people come to us. That's why our partners come to us. And that's why our customers stay. And also, we do some really cool events. And those cool events are, again, because if I'm not enjoying myself, our COO is not enjoying myself, then our folks are never really going to do it either. And just by the way, too, is that at the end, when I was talking to uh, Adrian Peterson, uh, I, he mentioned and said, well, you know, I'm eligible for the Hall of Fame in 2027. I'm like, <laughs> you're not eligible. You are absolutely a first ballot walk in. And the type of person he is, he looked me dead in the eye, which is kind of tough because he's about two feet taller than me. And he looks at me and goes, I'll be eligible. <laughs> so again, when you think about Dynalink, we do things uniquely different than everybody else. We do things the way that business should be run and people want it to be run. Well, that's that was a great recap. You do the right things. That's why Dynalink is the only phone company you'll ever need. I love it. Well, let's close with this. I've last, asked you a lot of questions in the last three episodes. What did you want to be when you were a little kid, when you grew up? Well, like most professional impressionable youths, not professional, impressionable youths, I want to be a professional baseball player. Uh, I was a catcher, but I love Greg Nettles. I know he played third base, but I love playing baseball. And my favorite catcher was Carlton Fisk, and it killed me when they traded Greg Nettles and I started liking the White Sox, which being in New York is not a very nice thing, but White Sox weren't very good for a while. But my favorite catcher of all time was Carlton Fisk, and I tried everything to be like him. But unfortunately, at a height of, you know, 5'8", maybe 5'9", with heels, I didn't really see much professional baseball in my future. Well, if you're going to be 5'8", or 5'9", with heels, I, was, I mean, I haven't seen you in heels, but take off the heels and just be 5'8". It's a better look. It's a better look on you. <laughs> well, hey, Chris, thank you for carving out time out of your busy schedule. You're very, very successful year at Dynalink. I appreciate your sponsorship of the Top Gun Show and for appearing. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much for having me. And what I said in one of the other events is that I do have my little toys because this is my home office. So I decided to do it for my home office this time. Big Steeler fan behind me, all my little toys there, and this helmet I stole for my son. So I love it. I love it. Well, thank you, and thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you very much.